What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create an energy ball effect in Premiere Pro. Now as for the energy ball and the electricity sound, there will be a download link for that in the description. So let's get into it, as you can see I have the footage right here of me doing the effect. So this is the raw footage, of course nothing's going to be there. What we're going to be doing is coming across to the part where we want the energy ball to appear. So right here for me. I'm going to press this button to lay down a marker. I'm then going to come across to the part where I want to end the energy ball, which is right there for me. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard or press this button here to lay down that marker. Next thing we're going to be doing is adding in the energy ball itself. So we're going to drag and drop this and make sure it is above your video track. And we can skip out the intro of the energy ball. So this is a pretty long clip so you have a lot to work with here. Straight away you can see that it does not fit um, our screen. That is completely fine because the energy ball itself is quite big so you can leave that as it is. And what we're going to be doing is getting rid of this green screen. So the way you do that you come over to effects, from effects you come to video effects, from there come to keying, from there come down to ultra key, drag and drop this onto the energy ball. From there, so make sure you are selected on your energy ball, come up to your effect controls, and as you'll see it says ultra key. From here where it says key color, you want to select this color picker, you want to select the background. Just like that, it's got rid of it. So that's basically the first part for the energy ball done. The next thing is the more time consuming thing. Now this is where you go through the frames and you basically align it to where it's supposed to be. So what we're going to be doing is targeting the position and scale for this energy ball. From there I do recommend selecting the arrow on scale because then it's just a slider moving up or down to make it bigger or smaller. So the first thing I'm going to do is make it smaller and I'm then going to position this off to my right hand up here. Then all I'm going to be doing is going across on my timeline to where I move my hands and essentially we are going to make the energy ball move with my hands as well. So you can see right there uh, my hand actually tilted a bit so I'll put the energy ball a little bit higher. I'll, I'll probably keep the scale the same the entire time. It may adjust, I'm not too sure. But coming across you can see my hands going up into the energy ball so I'm going to bring this up even more. There we go. And then we're going to bring it across and this is when I transfer it to my other hand. So this is where a bit more keyframing comes into play. It's going to be positioning the Y and the X axis throughout. So you can see I'm not going to go by frame by frame, but at the end result you will see it still follows very accurately. But I'm sure by now you get the idea of how to create this effect. Um, so what I'm going to be doing right now is fast forward to all of this part and I'll show you the end result. And there we go. So. Um, if I just show you all the frames I've created, it's all of them right there. Uh, you can see I didn't really touch the scale, I kept it as it was from the beginning. So it was just the positioning I had to adjust. But if I play it through for you, this is what we have. So this is the first time I'm seeing it as well. Just checking if everything is going to be tracked accurately. So basically I'm looking for it to just follow my hand movement. And you can see I didn't cover every frame like I did mention. Yeah, that looks really nice, a really smooth pass to the other hand, and it just looks all natural. There we go. And that's basically what you want to achieve as well. Don't go by each frame um, creating this to be completely accurate, because honestly, if you try to be too accurate, then it really doesn't look very accurate. So it's better to just go across and find the little movements in your hand, then reposition it. But you can see just like that, that is how you create an energy ball effect in Premiere Pro.